Hey everybody, welcome to part two of this really strange little series I've decided to make. Um, typically, when I invest in coins, I look for those coins to meet a certain criteria. Those criteria, much like XRP, are that the coin has to have a full range of historical data, aka I want it to be more than just the peak of 2018 to today. I want, it, I want to see that the coin has done something in the past. We can't have had a new all-time high in this cycle yet, which we haven't for XRP, for example. To make it a good buy, we have to be in this red zone right here. This for XRP is anywhere below 99 and a half cents. That to me is a good purchase price where we then be looking to sell our bags all the way up there at kind of $12.10 or around the top and upper end of these Fibonacci's. We are now looking at a new coin and that coin is Casper. Casper has featured in my th my 3.2 exit point price list, which is a huge title for a document, but it's one of the favorites in the community. Out of all the documents I've created, I basically gave you an idea of when you could be exiting Casper. And using that analysis that I did was just using the Fibonacci extension tool, using this peak up here, dragging it down to the bottom and seeing where we stand on the 3.2 Fibonacci extension line, which is my own custom line on this channel. You won't see that anywhere else. And for me, that is a backdated line that acts as a fantastic, take profit point as a balance between being more aggressive and conservative. It's a really good balance. And that line up there goes all the way up to $129.93. From today's price, that's obviously mega uh, gains at 212,000%. <laughs> so obviously Casper has some major upside. And I know that that sounds wild. That sounds crazy. But I just want to say in this video that that might not actually be that crazy. The numbers are wild and it's odd for for me to be talking about a coin that doesn't fit my criteria, my three golden rules. As you can see, it doesn't really fit any of the rules. It's it's too new. It's had an all-time high in this cycle. Yes, we're in the 0 0.236 zone, as I always look for. But I mean, does that really count if we don't have a full cycle to go over? Anyway, I don't think my skill set aligns enough to be able to talk about Casper to the degree that might help you. But I do want to direct you over to a video, a really good video that was done by Wealth Code. And this is a 13-minute video explaining what Casper is in you know brutal detail very good video here by wealth code so the link will be in the description for you to go and check that out this will be purely kind of technical analysis and maybe some fundamentals like having a look at the market cap to kind of get an idea to see if there's confluence between my 3.2 line and anything else that's going on and it's very difficult right now to be able to compare casper to any other kind of coin right most closely try to relate it to maybe bitcoin and ethereum but ultimately any of these predictions we make even using market cap which we're about to do in a second it's really clutching at straws because this coin is so new that this could very well take over the whole world and and right now is like the ideal time to to be buying in and it could also just flop <laughs> i don't see it flopping which is the why i'm making this video but essentially anything like that can happen we've been in this capitulation phase in this kind of horizontal channel here for months now we're now then we're now approaching lows that we saw back in july 2021 it's my assumption that we're going to see ethereum and therefore the rest of the altcoins drop a little bit more probably back into this gray area right here before we then start seeing the bullish momentum return back and then we head up to that kind of 0 0.666 to 702 fibonacci extension range that's the retracement range that's where we imagine bitcoin's going to come back up to in this retracement so that we can sell off our bags in all the coins and re-enter the market at the bottom casper's been down and we can expect a little bit of you know a little bit of movement further to the downside i would say that my limit on the downside would probably be around five cents it'd be a bit worrying if it went lower than that but i do expect a bounce around this area currently we're at six cents but there's still room left to go down basically it's about a 15 percent swing left available to go down for casper before it starts getting scary so if we look at casper's market cap we're currently at 286 million dollars that is outrageously low when you look and you, when you watch that video uh, about Casper, just how much better it is than so many other coins it just hasn't taken off yet right we want to be catching these coins down when they're red like this and this if this doesn't look like an ideal buying moment i don't know what does ethereum's market cap which i guess you could it could be comparable to ethereum is 341 billion dollars the difference in market cap for casper to get to where ethereum's market cap is is a 119 thousand percent growth if we saw and for example if we saw casper reach the market cap of where ethereum is today that would be a 59 dollar and 50 cent casper
which if we place that on this chart right here, is around here. So right at the top of the fibs when you use a wickless chart. Now you'll know if you downloaded my 3.2 uh, price list document that I went through and I took the wicks out of all of my charts, right? I did this to, re to increase the consistency across the board and reduce the amount of emotional behavior that was taken into consideration when making those price predictions. So if we actually drop that line to the top of the candles instead of the wicks, lo and behold, that $58, $59 region all of a sudden starts to make sense. That's, of course, even if Casper reaches that $60 level. What if it only made it half the size of Ethereum and it only made it to $30? Well, what would we be looking at then? That's, that's the interesting thing, because even if we made it half the size of Ethereum, we're still looking at a 50,000% gain for Casper. And it's for this reason that Casper is now a coin that I am actively looking for entry points on, despite the fact that it doesn't meet any of my criteria. I think the use case for Casper is ex is extremely bullish. They've got huge companies behind them, and we've been in an area of capitulation almost for enough time for people to be, to be calling Casper dead or think it's a scam. And from my experience, it's when people start saying stuff like that when the bottom comes in. And I just can't see a world where a coin like Casper, a project like Casper, doesn't take off to the stratosphere. I would personally personally be looking for Casper to reach all-time high. And interestingly, the all-time high currently is right, is just below my 3.2 Fibonacci extension line and that comes in at $41.73. I will be announcing when I've actually made an entry into Casper on my Twitter and in the members discord. You can join the members discord by clicking join next to the subscribe button on this channel and join the community where everyone in that community will be retiring in the next bull run. I hope you can join us. And these these price predictions are super hard to make because it's just, you know, it's just difficult, man. There's not much data to go on. You're just kind of clutching at straws trying to think, okay, if if this coin went this big, then this is what the coin price would be. It's kind of difficult. But we've got confluence between the Fibonacci extension line We've got the market cap increase growth potential thing going for it as well. And the other thing that goes into this is just a gut feeling, right? We've got a gut feeling that Casper could take over, or I do anyway. I know many other people are ultra bullish. And I think right now, when the prices are going down, this is when people aren't talking about the coins that are going to go crazy. They're too worried about the coins that they have that have gone down. They're now thinking that everything's in a bear market. You know, the motions have taken over, but I'm thinking clearly here that Casper might just be in the ideal spot to enter. Anyway, uh, that's all for this one. I'll see you in the next one.